I could, I'd like to stay with it until I hit the pro realm. Hey man, how do you feel about the win tonight? Uh, I feel pretty, pretty good. I got out there and did what I wanted to do. Just stay sail. Took me down there. I managed to get that out of the stuff. With that mentality uh, and that game plan, so to speak, how did training go? What did you focus on? Well, I've been boxing for a while, so we're in the little boxing. Mostly, we just had to get back up from the ground once I got to the Like you and I had talked about uh, earlier in the month, the article on the NCC website, and what you just said outside of the game, so, you know, you and your brother have been fighting since you were 10. You know, what does that relationship mean to you? Uh, it means a lot. It puts us together. It's a lot. Oh, it feels good. I'm glad to have a winning performance and get on a winning streak. It feels great. Hey, everybody, it took the fight on Monday now. It's now we're kind of looking for it. Finally, going for you. Last night you said you were on the stage, kind of feeling all what's going on. How do you feel about your opponent the way you came out tonight? Uh, I appreciate it so much. It takes a lot of heart to just step in the cage, let alone doing it on short notice. I appreciate it so much. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be here. So uh, it takes guts and it means a lot. Yeah, uh, same thing, working with the same guys, doing the same stuff, and it seemed to help, so, you know, it's been working, so I'm sure he's not going to Congrats on the win. Thank you very much. Despair and worry in that third round, like man, I'm gonna get knocked out. You know, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get crushed here, embarrassed, and pee myself before I get conscious or something. So uh, I'm glad to come back and have battles like that. And and when I can entertain people, man, I get more. When I lost that fight, I had more people coming up to me and patting me on the back, man, good fight, good fight, than I ever did for many of my wins. So I think people really appreciate if you just lay it on the line, go out there, win or lose, just show your heart. And that's what I hope I do. Well, that definitely happened tonight. Yeah. Congrats on the win. Thank you very much. You guys, show up for the next MCC. Maybe I'll be on that card too. I'm not sure we're talking <laughs> again. Number one contender, John, at MCC 50 in October for the featherweight title. Uh, Josh, how does this fight go for you? How do you feel about it? Uh, I 
so great about the fight. Uh, I worked a lot on the arm bar defense, you know, and then put an arm machine from his back. And luckily I didn't get it. He had it. One time it was really tight. Oh man, it was close as hell to, for me to happen, but I just fought through it. Didn't give up, kept turning my arm and just got out of it and stepped over his head. Uh, fight went well. Uh, not as good as I would have hoped. I wanted to stand with him a little bit more. We ended up on the ground a lot more than I had planned, but I fought off the arm bar and all the subs and uh, just fought my fight as best as I could. And I'm really happy with how it wins. So in fact, I got a victory, so you can't be mad about that one. You should be happy too, considering you got that number one type of shot in October at MCC 50. Now with that in mind, we saw the current champion take the stage, and you guys have kind of promoted the match a little bit. How do you feel about that? I'm excited for the fight, a uh, very exciting fight for me because he's just a dynamic striker. Really good striker, great boxer, explosive kicks, one of them just wild machines, man. He'll throw anything he can at you, hope to finish it with whatever the hell he can pull out. So it's exciting for me because I don't just get to train for one thing. I just train for everything. I train for a fight. I'm not training for it. I would make a little more focusing on not getting on guard and just banging with him and just striking hard. You know, and although with Saldana, it's just training everything because you do not know what that kid will throw at you. He'll throw anything and everything at you. And for me, that's exciting because then it's not a basic training camp. It's just fun going at it and training for everything and anything. And I'm excited for it. It's going to be a great fight. Lastly, you had the fans for it on your side tonight. We're not only your family, we're not only enough for your dad. I've been a lot. Um, he has never missed a fight of mine. This is my 24th cage fight. He's never missed any except for one, and he was in the hospital. And uh, for him to actually be here tonight, we weren't sure I was going to go. He does chemo and radiation five days a week. So we weren't sure how he was going to feel, but he was feeling great today. He got to come up. The whole family is here uncle, grandma, mom, dad, uh, girlfriend, everybody was here to support me. I love it. I love having them behind me. They're just the fuel in my fuel and my gas tank, man. They keep me going. Thinking of my dad and my mom, the fact that they haven't given up. My mom's always by my dad, my dad's always fighting. It's a big, big, big fighter for me. Keeps me going. Never give up just like he does. And it meant a lot for me. Got in there, didn't really get touched too, you know, didn't really get hit. Um, he tried bailing for some leg lock, and uh, I, I chased his, um, got his, hit the foot lock. I didn't think I was going to tap him, and uh, next thing I know, I'm transitioning around, I'm standing above him, and he's yelling about his ankle. He's like, ah, oh, my ankle, my ankle, my ankle. I must have, you know, got a, got that finish. Uh, he was just tough as nails, and he kept fighting, so that's what happens. You had a lot of vicious kicks, you're explosive, I mean, you're probably the quickest fighter tonight. You're still going to keep the hardware, how does that feel? Uh, it feels great, man, it feels great. Anytime I can get in there and uh, showcase my skills and learn something, get better, it's it's a, it's a win-win. I mean, uh, I was just fortunate enough tonight to come out on top and keep my belt. You last put the belt on the line in February, you're going to keep it with you like you just said. Uh, the training was a little bit different, or was it the same as usual? Or yeah, not? it's always different now. Uh, my my home gym, Elite Edge, is kind of, uh, it's, it, it's, uh, the MMA program isn't, isn't as steady as it used to be. So now I'm kind of freelancing a little bit and uh, just getting out and about. And it's, it's, it's really just evolving the game and I'm getting all kinds of different looks.